Welcome to this edition of the Astrological Weather Report. My name is Daniel Fiverson. Today we're going to look at the Aquarius full moon that occurs tomorrow, August 11th, 2022. And I'd like to start with a, with a short little uh, poem, a little uh, excerpt from Rumi. Escape from the black cloud that surrounds you. Then you will see your light as radiant as the full moon. Full moons are pinnacle events. Once every 29 days, the sun and moon stand opposite each other in the sky. At this pivotal moment, the oscillating moon is fully illuminated by the rays of the sun. It is a time of exposure to what has become obfuscated. What was hidden is now revealed. What was in process is now manifest. In a word, stuff happens. The police will tell you about the high incidence of crime around the full moon. Astrologically, the moon refers to our emotional nature. Full moons often bring challenging events. Full moons are traditionally associated with lunacy, or were derived from the moon, insomnia, a condition of the night, and certain metaphysical phenomena called shape-shifting. On August 11th, 2022, a full moon occurs at 19 degrees Aquarius, 21 minutes, at 5.35 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Revolution is the favorite Aquarian pastime. Ruled by erratic Uranus, the master of the unexpected, Aquarian events interrupt and disrupt the, quote, normal reality. <clears throat> Excuse me. When dissonance is exposed and addressed, harmony is achieved. At this lunation, the moon sidles up behind taskmaster Saturn. The image of Cronus, Greek Saturn, devouring his children is an apt but perhaps sketchy epigram for this powerful outer planet. In truth, he is the guide of skills and mastery. It is also true that we are sometimes devoured by our challenging experiences. The intention is not about punishment, but rather about self-assimilation and life enhancement. Saturn was the recognized ruler of Aquarius before the discovery of Uranus, and some astrologers still hold the belief, and myself included, that consider Saturn as a co-ruler. Uranus is about change. Saturn plays an active role in this as well. On average, one-third of the population seeks to progress. One-third seeks change by changing things back to how they used to be, and one-third are uncommitted. The Lord of Time and Gravity has been the key player in the planetary aspect formation that underscores 2022. Since March, Saturn in Aquarius has been in a 90-degree crisis mode with the lunar nodes, which will persist through September. Saturn is in its retrograde condition, deepening the archetypes. As Mars and Uranus closely align to the lunar north node in Taurus, the energies are increasing. The conscious choices we have made in the past will reverberate through the field and trigger what we need to evolve. This configuration is known as a fixed T-square. The celestial dynamics are enhanced as the Moon and Saturn oppose Venus and dwarf planet Ceres in Leo, building the T-square into a full-blown fixed Grand Cross. This dynamic planetary configuration is loaded with pent-up energy that must find an outlet and release. On August 28th, Saturn will perfect, be exactly square in, the lunar nodes. Since Saturn orbits very slowly, this perfection will persist across multiple days. When a planet squares the lunar nodes, it implies that either the past has not been reconciled or the future is vague and undefined. In this case, it is the former condition. Collectively, we are bouncing back and forth between the past and future, resolving neither. The full moon will produce external and internal events that will emotionally dislodge where we have not taken responsibility for our actions, in other words, where we are stuck. Help is at hand, however. Pallas Athena delivers higher mind support to find remedies and solutions. 
the goddess of wisdom and strategy integrates the rational realities of the left brain and the lower mind with the Uranian higher mind impulses that suggest alternative, innovative, yet still untested methodologies. The higher mind and the lower mind can achieve symbiosis. A bump from Chiron, homeopathic Chiron provides a boost to acknowledge and heal festering wounds. Seven hours after the perfection of the full moon, sensual Venus will enter Leo, the sun's nativity. The relationship God hooks up with erotic Pluto and emotions get steamy. We can be empowered with some combination of self-admiration and self-aggrandizement under the influence of Jupiter. Neptune makes boundaries more porous, spreading the personality mayhem. Venus gets rattled by asteroid Vesta, sacred garden of our cell, guardian of ourself. Our authentic relationship with ourselves is our core frequency. Some fine adjustments and fine tuning are required to clear out the static. Dwarf planet Eris will not be ignored. She tells Venus in no uncertain terms that self-inflicted injustices will not be tolerated. This summer, summer or winter, this season, summer or winter, depending on where you are, has not given us much relief. The Neptune, Juno, and Estrella Pisces stellium has brought flooding, exposures of treason and sedition, racial terrorism, and the erosion of geopolitical boundaries. Now, Vesta adds to the disorder with, with increasing displays of personal authenticity, resulting in self-centered behavior. We are in the foothills of the Aquarian age. Arundhati Roy said, another world is not only possible, she is on her way. On a quiet day, I can hear her breathing. I can also feel the tremors. Be patient, be kind, be truthful. Namaste. Thank you for tuning in.